Welcome to our Freeze Concept TV headline. Despite FG's dramatic heel turn to withdraw lawsuit against NLC, what's next for labor Nigerians? In a surprising twist of event that has left the nation in astonishment, the French government has apparently withdrew its legal action against the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC. The suit was filed on response to nationwide protests held on August 2, a move that had provoked intense outrage among the labour union and the public at large. The government about face was revealed through a letter penned by the eminent legal um, petitioner Femi Falani acting as the government representative. The letter conveyed an astonishing news that the lawsuit had been withdrawn due to the rapid piece of unfolding event. The letter which bore the signature of Beatrice J.D. Agbe, the indefinitable um, permanent secretary of the Federal Ministry of Justice, underlining the pivot role played by the intention of influential figures including President Bola Tunubu and the National Assembly in, ref in reshaping the course of its continuous dispute. What ignited the first storm was the firestorm was the contemplation of legal action against the labor union for their amodation um, protest action. As the specter of court proceeding looms large, the union sent an F um, affront to their hand fought right and had banished the threat of a first strike as a defendant respond. The, the Nigerian Labour Congress only last week had unveiled plans for an imminent um, nationwide strike slated to commence on August 14, 2023, should the Federal Ministry of Justice fail to retreat from its courtroom costs against the organized labor. In a reverting mass that has caught the nation's attention, the government's communication dated August 7 delivered a cassette of revelation. The document addressed to the Nigerian Labour Congress by, began by referencing the recent announcement of the suspension of the nationwide protest by the NLC. The protests, which had galvanized workers across the nation, were suddenly halted, but not before casting a spotlight on the dispute and issuing a steam critic of content someone served by the National Industrial Court. In a, a vertical flourish, the government later rec recounted the back and front between the Ministry of Justice and the Labour Union, outlining the government's in instance on upholding the court order that had restrained any industrial action by the Labour Union. However, as the event on August 2 took a tumultuous stone with the union unleashing public protests that lead to disruption and even magic toppling of gates of the National Assembly, the Ministry of Justice acted swiftly. Initiating a legal gamut, the ministry filed from 48 a strategic move permitted under the Shift and Civil Process Act and Order 9 Rules 13 of the Judgment Enforcement Rules. But then, just as the legal storm clouds gather, an unexpected turn of events alerts the trajectory of his high stake legal drama. The judgment of a government action was brutally halted by intervention of none of other than President Bola Ahmed Tunungu. In a surprising twist of event that has left the nation in astonishment, the French government has apparently withdrew its legal action against the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC. The suit was filed on response to nationwide protests held on August 2, a move that had provoked intense outrage among the labour union and the public at large. The government about face was revealed through a letter penned by the eminent legal um, petitioner Femi Falani acting as the government representative. The letter conveyed an astonishing news that the lawsuit had been withdrawn due to the rapid piece of unfolding event. The letter which bore the signature of Beatrice J.D. Agbe, the indefinitable um, permanent secretary of the Federal Ministry of Justice, underlining the pivot role played by the intention of influential figures including President Bola Tunubu and the National Assembly in, ref in reshaping the course of its continuous dispute. What ignited the first storm was the firestorm was the contemplation of legal action against the labor union for their amodation um, protest action. As the specter of court proceeding looms large, the union sent an F um, affront to their hand fought right and had banished the threat of a first strike as a defendant respond. The, the Nigerian Labour Congress only last week had unveiled plans for an imminent um, nationwide strike slated to commence on August 14, 2023, should the Federal Ministry of Justice fail to retreat from its courtroom costs against the organized labor. In a reverting mass that has caught the nation's attention, the government's communication dated August 7 delivered a 
cassette of revelation, the document addressed to Nigerian Labour Congress by, began by referencing the recent announcement of the suspension of the nationwide protest by the NLC. The protest, which had Governalized workers across the nation were suddenly hurt, but not before casting a spotlight on the dispute and issuing a steam critic of content someone served by the National Industrial Court. In a, a vertical flourish, the government later rec recounted the back and front between the Ministry of Justice and the Labour Union, outlining the government's in instance on upholding the court order that had restrained any industrial action by the Labour Union. However, as the event on August 2 took a tumultuous stone with the union unleashing public protests that lead to disruption and even magic toppling of gates of the National Assembly, the Ministry of Justice acted swiftly. Initiating a legal gamut, the ministry filed from 48 a strategic move permitted under the Shift and Civil Process Act and Order 9 Rules 13 of the Judgment Enforcement Rules. But then, just as the legal storm clouds gather, an unexpected turn of events alerts the judiciary of his high stake legal drama. The judgment of a government action was brutally halted by intervention of none of other than President Bola Ahmed Tunungu. All right, viewers, you have listened to today's news. The headline said, Despite FG's um, dramatic U turn to withdraw lawsuit against NLC, what's next for labor on Nigerians? Hmm. You know, NLC and TUC, they actually um, said they're going to do a protest on 2nd of August if the government failed to do something, which they carried out. Um, August 2, they did a wild a protest, which a lot of people joined. A lot of people were um, joined the protest, and they were actually protesting concerning the high cost of things and how people are finding it difficult to believe really survive and pull through in the in this period so they, they did a protest telling the government to do something it's either they they withdrew the uh, subsidy of a thing and let things be the way they were and do other things or they uh, maybe they the subsidies they should do something to help um the masses so after everything, I think the uh, not I think, and through their pro through their um through their protests, we we saw in a, in in a, in a video and the picture where where some protesters actually pulled down the gate when they were protesting. I don't know if it's accidentally or um the purposely, purposefully because a lot of people were really really angry with the whole thing. People are really really angry. Yeah, people are bitter bitter. You understand? So they pulled down the gate. Like whether it's intentionally or, un or unintentionally, we don't know. So I think that that led to the um the, the government filing filing a lawsuit against the um the NLC and TUC, which after everything, um they decided they decided to withdraw the case, um, knowing fully whether what these people were doing, they're actually fighting for their right. They actually um had to withdraw the case, and they um, when they withdrew the case, like okay, since I've withdrew the case, let's let's see how things are going to you know, going to go. We're going to do something about you people's um your people's demand. You understand? So now, um now NFC said they give they give um. Um, the government um till fourteenth of August twenty three. Okay, it said the, Niger the Nigerian Labour Congress only last week had unveiled plans for an imminent nationwide strike slated on comments on August fourteen twenty three. The federal the Federal Ministry of Justice failed to retreat from its courtroom um crusade against the organized labor. <clears throat> They, they they told the government that if they fail to withdraw their case that they filed against them, they're going to do a nationwide strike. Like, this one is not just every, for a few; it's going to be for everybody. So it's coming on the fourteenth. So the government now will join the case. So I don't know what is going to happen next. You understand? But I pray everything goes well. Whatever well, your content of today's news, please do it by the comment section. Let's know what your views are. Thank you for listening.